Upuko Anwa Ihuen Festival is used for thanksgiving to Almighty God in appreciation for the bountiful harvest and beginning for another planted season. The age-long traditional festival begins with the cooking of the native black beans called Iyeye by the women and eaten by everyone in the community, which will culminate into 24 hours house-to-house dance known as Iganende around the community. The ceremony eventually ends at the house of the chief host of the festival, who was this year Pa Joseph Okwebolo, who also assumed the position of a January at the event. When we do this feast uh, every year, we use it to thank uh, our God for sparing us uh, uh, throughout the year and uh, to prolong us to, to the next year. The Poko Ihuen Festival also affords opportunity to in laws to pay homage to the parents of their spouses. The president of Ukoko Youth Forum in Diaspora, Sonde Abujale, and other agents said the festival is an age long tradition devoid of fetish practices, but to offer thanks to God and promote unity in the community. It's a communal way of giving thanks to God for bountiful harvest for people that farm then for career success for our children that are in abroad, in a way for people success, for people progress over the year. Issues about whether it is godly or not godly, the community met with uh, Christian leaders and everything they thought was uh, against the spiritual, that was not, that was unbiblical, we were removed from it. Ukbogo is still celebrating the same feast that our father started. So as you can see, we all are rejoicing today. It's not a little rejoicing. You don't mention anything evil. You don't steal phone. You don't fight. You don't do anything criminal acts. That's what we forbid. Yeah. Apart from that, it's just merriment throughout. We dance, eat together, then show love to one another. Next to the oldest man in the community, Francis Oribabo, true light on the origin of the festival. It was gathered that Ukpoko Ihuen Festival was originally a ceremony performed by the entire Ogwa community at the same time, but Ukpoko has been excluded in the past three years, hence they decided to have a separate ceremony. Ferdinand Osakwe reporting.